All right. So we every guest we have, we do do the same kind of rapid fire five questions. So we're just going to ask you okay. these. First thing that comes to mind, don't overthink them. Okay. Uh, do you like to putt with a line on the ball or you just kind of set it at a target and pick a target and kind of visualize it? Line on the ball. And then yeah. I stand over the ball, lift the club face, lift the putter over the ball, putt over the line with the line on the putter uh, okay. five times so I can get that feel. And then I drop the putter and putt it. And it goes in yeah. more times than not. No, that's man, a, I like it. <laughs> I've never um, seen anybody do it like above the ball like that. But that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've got the line on the putter, right? And you yeah, it makes the, sense. The line on your ball. I mean, but when you're going back and forth, it helps you like, okay, the first three, you're way offline. But then four and five, you're online. You drop the, the putter and then you go. Yeah. Um, it works for me. I always, I always pull it back. But I'm going to try that now. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I was just thinking <laughs> the second he said it, I was like, oh, shit. That kind of makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Um, are you a are you a blade or a mallet guy? I'm a blade guy. Okay, I'm a, okay. I'm a blade. I, I just just have always played. Actually, I've always played mallets, but uh, I came out with the the rival blade prototype one blade, and I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, but we will cool. come out with mallets in the future. Awesome, yeah. Because I'm a mallet player. We both are. We both have mallets, but Heck, we'll get you guys a mallet. <laughs> <laughs> What's a TV or movie character that you most relate to? Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He just, he just, I think he's such a great actor. I think he's awesome. He does a really, a lot of really good movies too. And if, if there was a brother that I could have, I think it would be Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> how he plays in movies. Okay. Nice. Uh, what's your uh, go-to golf ball brand? Taylor made TP five. Ooh. I, I bought the I bought the super softs Callaways at this golf course that I played the other day because they didn't have the Taylor mates and I don't know. I was like a completely different person and I don't know if it was because of the golf ball or I was just playing really bad, but it was terrible. And then I got back to playing my TP fives yesterday and I started to play a whole lot better. So no. Taylor made TP five for sure. <laughs> I use I just started the uh the Taylor made the one with like the crazy graffiti marks on it right now. The, the oh, picks. Yeah, uh-huh. I used those yesterday for the first time, and we use. I used it in both of our matches, and I only used one ball for both of them. And I, like, I, I swear, it like flew off the club a little different for me, and I'm like, very surprised. I'd never used is, it before. Is that the TP five with like the stamps on it, like the different designs? Yeah, or yeah. Is that it's like yeah, like green. Well, not the and, picks, but it's like the black. lines one. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, not quite it. the uh-huh. picks, yeah. Yeah, but I think I, you can make a good golf ball. I think that that might be my go-to ball now because that was I had yeah. used it before and I was playing way better than it was. It was just coming off way different. Yeah, it feels good too when it when yeah. you hit it. Absolutely. Cool. If you weren't golfing, what is it that you'd want to be doing on just a day off? If I wasn't golfing on a day off, if, if we're going to be talking about just like sport type things, uh, I would say uh, pickleball. I do like pickleball. Oh, yeah. pickleball, is good, pickleball is a good sport to play. Yeah, you can yeah. only play that for like a few hours, but that, that's a really fun sport, especially if you're playing with doubles with other people. It's high intensity. I mean, you don't have to move too much either, kind of like golf, um, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> but otherwise, I, I like the beach. I like going to the mountains. I have a dog, so we go hiking, we go to the lake, I throw a stick in the, in the lake, and he goes and runs after it. That's pretty much yeah. it. Nice. nice. <laughs> it's a pretty, pretty damn good life, honestly. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> cool. So where can everybody kind of find Rival Wedges or Rival Golf, the website, social media, all that type of stuff? Yeah, so we are on TikTok under Rival Golf. We are on Instagram at, at Rival Golf. Uh, we are online. Um, we do have a website. It's rivalgolf.com, R-I-V-L golf.com. And uh, that's where we're at kind of right now. We're still growing. We're still wanting to – we're still learning this and how, to, and how to get into this. So we're kind of limiting ourselves, but we're hoping to eventually grow and expand from there. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, we're on Instagram, TikTok, and rivalgolf.com. Cool. Where where'd the name Rival come from? I was not. You know, that's a great question. But <laughs> I, I don't know exactly where it came from. But I can tell you right now, when I was thinking about this for two months, I could not eat. I could not sleep. I could not drink without <laughs> looking at 
the little descriptions in everything on trying to figure out a name for this company that didn't come across as like cheesy or a knockoff yeah. name, something that was was like a had a cool like look to it that people would be kind of excited to 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 have in their back, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, so I don't know exactly where it came from. I, it was kind of like. We're talking about premium quality. I wanted premium quality, but I wanted to offer like an unrivaled affordability. So I think what I did was I shortened the name unrivaled and did rival. And then I was like, yeah, I don't really like that. Let's like do it like a Ruka type thing where we where we limit our words. Yeah. Or we limit the letters in the words. So we did R-I-V-L. And then, and then we did our, our logo, which is the opposite of Ruka. But it happened to work out perfect. It's an up and down. So it's an up and down logo because what do we try to get when we're around the greens and we miss the green? Ooh. An up and down, right? <laughs> right? So that's, a, that's what I think is really cool, right? So I think I think it's the most relatable uh, uh, logo out of all the golf brands possible. So that's was- why we have a wet. So you, get, you get up with the wedge and you get down with the putter. That was – okay, that was – that was what <laughs> I was going to say like the um, – like the font and the way that your logo looks it like yeah. it's just, it was super clean that was like one of the first things of being like an outsider type of thing where i was yeah. like "Ooh, that's clean i want to know more about that so that's okay. that's that's sweet i love that i appreciate that brother appreciate Thank it you, man cool well taylor thanks for taking the time i mean anything else you want to add before we kind of wrap it up here no, I really appreciate you guys for having us on this podcast. Again, this is our first one, and this is super exciting, and I'm looking forward to do many more. And, uh, guys, we're looking forward to growing Rival even more into a brand that's for the people, by the people, that makes golf more affordable and accessible for people to enter in the game of golf and also re- easier to replace their old product when they're, or their old golf equipment when they're wanting to replace it. Um, so we're rival golf, rivalgolf.com at rival golf on Instagram. And we really appreciate you guys for this opportunity.